The Ogun State Deputy Governor Noimot Salako Oyedele has appealed to applicants of Project T-Max in the state to make good use of the opportunity provided for them by the federal government. She made this known during the flag off of the screening exercise in the state at the government's technical college, Idiaba. On his part, the senior special advisor to President Muhammad Obari on education interventions, Fela Bank Olemo, said 42,000 youths applied for the training in Ogun State and they can only consider 2,000. Well, look at it as a golden opportunity. This 2,000 out of uh, 42,000 people who registered in Ogun State, but also 2,000 out of probably about two million young people in Ogun State who could potentially have also registered for this program. I want to assure you that I, on my own, and of course the government of Ogun State, will work closely with Project TMAX to make sure that the maximum benefit is what is accruable to all our citizens who have, are registered and are successful during the screening period and go through the training. We know that at the end of the training, there will be some support to you so that you can go ahead and start new businesses. We have accredited 18 centers in Ogun State. 16 of them are private sector owned, two are government centers. And um, after we finish the screening over the next um, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, when we finish the screening, then the training will start a week after. You know, but the exciting thing is to see the number of people are excited, they want to be part of the program. Um, at the data we have from Ogun State, the number one skill that most people wanted to learn for was solar, solar installation. The second one was fashion designing and beauty, fashion designing, uh, fashion designing and tailoring. The third was beauty and the other was graphics design and all that. So uh, we're excited to see that people want to be part of the program. Nigerians want skills to improve themselves and TMAX is doing that for them.